Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today in this video we are going to be, well I'm going to be showing you how to set up APC40 faders to work with Grand MA. So without further ado, so download a trial version of Bones Mini Translator or if you have a licensed version bring that up and what you want to do and go new project new preset and you can label this APC 40 um, faders and then you'd want to add nine faders oops I just, just label them one two three four five six seven eight nine Once you've done that, you want to make sure you're getting MIDI, which I am not at the minute, you can see down here. So, what you want to do is go to that icon there, select APC40, and Bones me translator virtual output and that one too so they should be open now you can double click on incoming trigger for the first one so you can get this up now what you want to do is you want you want to go to caption MIDI and bring up the first fader on your APC 40 and there you see some things coming up now stop your fader when you see the things come up and double click where it says MIDI BO075C and double click that and underneath there you get something here you get that exact same message without MIDI what you want to do is you want to delete the last two letters or numbers and put a double P in there and then you want to go down to outgoing go click none MIDI message, capture MIDI, and move that fader again. Double click on it again, go down to the PP, but this time only for outgoing you want to change the B to a 9 and enter. And then there you want to do that for the rest. I won't do it because it'll take a long time. But once you've done that, she'll go to Bones, um, Grand Amaya this time. Go to options, MIDI, and MIDI in device select bonus MIDI translator. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to setup, remote input setup, MIDI remotes, and I've already done some, but I'll make a new one. So I'll just store a new fader, nothing, uh, 11. So you want to get that number, 11, as you should know. And you want to add, go here to type, click on executor, that's what it means, where it says executor, put in 11, change it to fader, otherwise it won't work, make sure you change it to fader. And now what you want to do is you want to move up, up and down that fader, and where it says N here, that's what you're going to write in note, so you put seven now the thing is it doesn't tell you which channel but as you can see on the apc 40 there is one two three four five six seven eight nine including the master fader so they correspond to your channels so all of these buttons if you want to select it you hit a button that would be um I think it's 5, 2 and channel 1. So you can do that for your faders. So once you've done note 7, you want to channel 1 and enter. So once you've got that, you can get out of there, go to executor, and you can see that your first fader is controlling 
sequence. It's controlling my positions as well because it can, but that's how you do that, guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.